The end of December, here we are, and I feel like we have spent the entire month talking about what do we expect to have happen in 2023. So this is going to be my final recap video for you of what to expect in 2023, why I feel that this way, what my predictions are, all of the above. Hope you guys get something great from this. Stay tuned till, stay tuned till the end. I've got some great wrap up for you. All right, we've been talking about in the month of December, all things, what's going to be happening in 2023, what got us here, where are we going, all that kind of good stuff. So since the beginning of the pandemic, so much has changed so quickly. I don't know about you, but my head has been spinning. Then there's all of the news and the media and everybody else. And you've got these pseudo experts telling you so much. And there's these Con contradicting predictions and oh my gosh now I'm just confused right so who is telling the truth who is stretching the truth and what the heck do we actually expect to have happen in 2023 so here's what I think is going to be happening over the next year first of all we have to find some balance this market has been all over the place. And if you have been watching my monthly market updates for the past several years, you know that I've been saying, we can't sustain this. We can't do this. This is unhealthy. We have a fever <laughs> and we need to check it and get the fever down. Well, that is exactly what is going to be happening in 2023. Okay. Home prices have seen some dramatic and drastic changes throughout the past couple of years. However, our supply has been really, really limited. So because supply was limited and demand was skyrocketing, we saw appreciation like we have never seen over the past several years. Crazy fun. You owned a home. You were riding the joy ride, man. It was a great ride on that roller coaster. Well, what it has done, it has, has now had the effect of leaving an overall jump in home prices that actually has surpassed income growth. So many people who want to buy a house, they can't afford it. So now the market has to balance. It has to back out just a little bit, meaning that we've got to check ourselves for a hot second. Now, don't worry. This is temporary, okay? As our prices start to cool, not plummet, cool, stabilize, more people will be able to afford to buy a home again and demand will grow again and we will see things settle out, okay? So... The other thing that has majorly affected us in this past year, uh, we've seen some major changes in our mortgage interest rates, right? You all know that. So the good news is, however, that we will we are expecting to see a more, again, for the mortgage rate market, more normal rates just around the corner. Now, guys, 2%, 3%, those are not normal interest rates. All right, that was crazy, 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 crazy. So. I'm not sure we can expect to see those come back, but we can see them come back down into more normal rates and it was it will be coming around the corner. All right. The second thing that I want to impress upon you today is that this is not 2008. All right. As we start to see a cooling of the market, many, many people are predicting doom and gloom and another crash and all kinds of things for our housing market. This is not 2008, and I have got three really important points for you to listen to, so to, to support my claim in that, okay? So number one, during the financial crisis of 20, 2008, home prices actually were seeing a five-year depreciation before finally recovering, okay? Right now, we're only expecting to see some maybe mild depreciation and we're going to actually return to our normal appreciation rates by 2024. So you're going to have a little momentary dip while we stabilize, while we let everybody's incomes catch up, and then we'll be right back to our normal appreciation rates, okay? Number two, the environment around foreclosures, completely different this time around. Lending standards are stricter. Um, foreclosures are just less likely. As a nation, we have seen a steady decrease in the numbers of mortgages ending in foreclosure since 2010, and that number is now at less than 1%. If you watch the monthly market update that I do every month, 
you, where we track all those numbers, I'm tracking that number for you. And you have seen that that number is not growing. All right. People have equity in their homes. There's no reason for foreclosures or short sales at this time. All right. And number three, homeowners are still seeing steady increases in equity, which has promoted stability in the market despite recent changes and outside pressures from inflation and other factors. Of those homeowners facing foreclosure, 91% of them have at least some equity built up in their home, meaning they would still make money if they sold it today, meaning they're probably not going to get foreclosed on and no bank in their right mind is going to extend a short sell. All right. So here is my summarization. Here is my takeaway. This is my final word for 2022. The housing market will see many ups and downs. It has seen many ups and downs. It will continue to see those ups and downs through the next year as mortgage rates and home prices correct. All right. The changes that we're going to see in 2023 are a result of the marketing, the market working to regain its equilibrium. Although there are many, many, many conflicting predictions for all of these changes and all that kind of stuff, the majority of the experts actually agree that by 2024, home prices and mortgage rates will have returned to more normal levels and we will be looking at a much, much healthier housing market. If you guys have any questions, you want to discuss your specific needs or your specific questions or your specific home values, let's have a conversation. You can reach me directly at 480-415-1341 or of course just message us however it is that you are seeing this video. Thanks for watching. We wish you the happiest of holidays. We hope that your 2023 new year is wonderful. Let us know how we can support you in that. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you in the new year.